And with that, we're ready to get things rolling here from the Veterans Memorial Arena in Somerville, Massachusetts. Tape for you here on Somerville Ed TV, the Highlanders, winners of their last four in a row, coming back home to take on non-conference opponent Haverhill High School. The Hillies coming in at 7-3 and 1 on 11 games played this season. They are 5-2 and 1 in the Dual County League. Cal Pruitt, the senior, will start in goal, number 31. He's got the C on his jersey. You don't usually see that too often with goaltenders. He will get the nod this afternoon for them, going opposite of fellow senior, Peter Lounsbury, who's taken over in goal. And he's 6-2 and two on the season, Lounsbury is. He was a right winger for three years and pressed into emergency goaltending duties for the Highlanders this season, and he's posted pretty good numbers. He's got two shutouts, six wins, and a goals against average of 2-5-0. Starting in front of Lounsbury for the Highlanders, Brady Roach and Dylan Marujo on defense. Top line of Richie Gaskin, Preston Ardolino, and Alex Morgan. Start for head coach Chris Capasso's Highlanders, who are 8-6-0 on the season, and they're trying to extend their season-best four-game winning streak to five. As right off the hop, Dylan Marujo gets physical. A good check on to John Bishop as Alex Morgan lost the puck trying to cross in over the line. Hillies will skate out of their own zone. Bishop once again rams into Marujo as he flips the puck in onto Lounsbury. Dylan Marujo will never hesitate to throw a big check as this puck is played wide into the corner. Ardolino who has scored in his last two games. Couldn't get that puck in deep. Another good hit there. Stepping in, Logan Gauthier as a backhander is on, and Pruitt able to kick that out from Chris Cassesso, who had himself a five-point game here last time at home. A 6-3 win for the Highlanders over the Cambridge Falcons. Cecil with a goal and four assists. 
His line combined to score four goals in total of the six that the Highlanders scored. Puck chipped back into the Highlander end. Gautier quick up the wing. And Cassesso trying to move through center. Good stick from Jack Mulligan. Played into the zone, quickly sent back out by Doe. No icing here as it was off of Prescott Mulligan, the defenseman. Pressure here on the four check. That forced that puck up into the netting. And we'll get our first stoppage here as a result. Faceoff will stay inside the hilly zone early in the first. Highlanders win the draw cleanly back. Seamus Foley holding it. Into the corner for Ardolino. Trying to bank it back up to the line. Foley on the backhand, couldn't keep it in. Hustling back, Sean Chafee as he turns around his own goal. Off a stick. That was of Nick DeBurrow. Hillies holding it in along the far side. Trying to work it in deep, but falling down was Chris Digg. Islanders get it clear, back out to neutralize. It's off the stick of Braxton Caswell. He's hounded there by Alex Morgan. As the Highlanders try and get a change here up front, Marujo, good aggressive pinch there, stepping in on Mulligan. He'll take it all the way in deep, one against two, as DeAngelis comes in late and finishes a check as the Hillies move the puck all the way down and off of Lounsbury. 12 and a half minutes to go in the first. No score as Chris DeAngelis cuts across center. Chris Cassesso to play in off the boards. Pruitt sets it aside. As it's banked up to the line, Roach couldn't get that to the goal. Prescott Mulligan into the corner, battling against Cassesso, who has it here. On a turn to the forehand. He'll flick it back in deep and off the short side. Averill looking for a clear off of Cassesso. Prescott Mulligan has an open teammate. McGowan snaps it over to the right wing side. Good check there by Tim Jones. Gautier from his own blue line. Angled into the boards on a good shoulder from Brendan Rosenthal. Up the boards, tap towards neutral ice and just offside are the Hillies. Rosenthal carrying the puck, but Jaden Barron was just in a stride before him. Hilly's able to move it in down the wing. This will force Logan Gauthier back into the corner where he sends a Hilly down to the ice. That's John Bishop in on the four check. Good work by Gauthier to shake off the pressure. He's got a man open in Brokeman who will throw it into the zone. Squally Candelino in there laying a check along with Brokeman. Over in the far corner trying to collect it is Jake Costa. Off a skate held in. Marujo, a long snapper. And an easy glove save for Pruitt who will get himself the whistle. Attacking zone draw was won by Haverhill and cleared all the way down. Doesn't have enough for icing. His Roach is all the way back. Finding Dylan Marujo. He'll drag it back away from Bishop. Roach taps it up the wing to Morgan. Morgan is Pressured there by Jack Baker. Marujo on his backhand, tough to handle. Almost turned it over to Costa. Marujo will try the far side. He's got Morgan there. Morgan is greeted along the boards. A good check there from Costa as a shot is snatched up by Lounsbury. Getting him much needed face off there. The Hillies pressing. And Lounsbury able to flag it down and Allow his team to change. He has won six of eight starts, Peter Lounsbury has since taking over in goal. I have to think that that was unexpected, but he's given the Highlanders quality goaltending. He's never played the position before, learning on the fly. 
And has really stepped up for this team in a big way as it's turned back down the boards. Matt DeAngelis stops up in back of Lounsbury. Looks to go ahead and finds Chris Cassesso on a nice pass. Down the left wing side, Chris Cassesso trying to step past this check, but he's played well by his number sake, Prescott Mulligan. As this puck rolls towards the crease, Pruitt nearly turned it over to Matt DeAngelis. As he tried to sweep it away, the Hillies send the pass wing to wing and they're out of the zone. Cutting in is Mulligan, Jax Mulligan. Out high, he'll drop it, Prescott the shot deflecting and it skipped off a few sticks wide. Actually knocked Chafee's stick out of his hands. As that chance is played on through the crease, Jax Mulligan trying to fool Lounsbury as it is played back to the middle. And Chris DeAngelis can get to the red line and clear in as he was dumped by Nick DeBurrow. Hillies starting to string together some good attacking zone time as the puck is worked into the zone. Here's Brokeman shooting and he did miss the net by a ton as he went over the right shoulder of Pruitt. Just over the crossbar as that shot sticked over to the glass. Shane Doe letting it go. As the Hillies get it clear, Doe off the linesman. Hillies have to tag up, they do quickly. Gonzalez, or rather check that, Rosenthal had his shot denied. Averill tagging up, Rosenthal in on the attack as Doe sends it up to an open wing. Candelino could not clear in deep, so they gotta start from their own zone again. As Rosenthal lays a good check, Brokeman clears it in. Somerville can change. Rolling puck. Unable to hold it was Gaskin. As he turns it into the corner, Ardolino, late arriving. Marujo keeps it in and gets it onto the net. Pruitt steers it away. Morgan, backhands in. Pruitt sets it aside. Billy's looking to clear. Pat McGowan in trouble as it's into the circle. And now skated back out to neutral ice. Prescott Mulligan, the defenseman, around the goal. He looks to center. One-handed away by Gaskin. And carried ahead by Morgan. Good play by the centerman, Gaskin. As Morgan's able to get it in deep and peel off for a change here with less than eight minutes to go. Scoreless first period. As it's in on to Lounsbury, he sticks to the side. Bishop chasing after it into the corner as Chafee turns from him. Foley, right up the wing. Cassesso sees a pass handled on the backhand. DeAngelis moves it back. Chafee for Cassesso. Unable to get that puck in deep off Braxton Caswell's legs. DeAngelis stepping in. Good check by Caswell to knock him off the puck. As Chris DeAngelis with a steal, trying to center, had his stick lifted by Wormstead. Good play there by the senior defenseman. Wormstead banking it up the boards, cut off by Chafee, pinched ahead. And Costa sends it in cross corner. Haverhill will get a change. Quick up, DeAngelis. Back to the boards, dangerous change. His brother was going off as Chafee's able to block the shot and clear. Highlanders, though, have to be careful. Firing that puck over towards the Benz in the midst of a change as the icing is called here. 6.23 to go in the first, and the faceoff will come back into Highlanders' territory. No score yet in this game. Averill will try and generate something here off the faceoff. Good work there by Owen Rosas to win it, but it snapped back out of the corner. A point shot never got all the way through to Lounsbury. It hit a Hillies player out in front. That looked to be Pat McGowan. Or rather, Darren Ackerman, 11, not 21. Haverhill does not have numbers along the arms. So pardon me as I might be a little late or a step behind in identifying some of the players. As the puck was tossed in from behind the red line though, it's icing on the Hillies. It'll come back down to Pruitt. We just have to turn aside a few shots here in this 
first period of play, although nothing overtly challenging as of yet. Richie Gaskins out to take the draw. He will try and win it, or rather it'll be Preston Ardolino who will try to win it back to Gaskin. Ardolino does win the draw, but Marujo could not hold the point and now he's caught in a foot race. John Bishop streaking in, shooting and scoring. Going five hole on Lounsbury. John Bishop with a dash down the left wing side and the Hillies open up the scoring here in the first period. It is one to nothing as Marujo just could not get back. What a burst of speed from the senior. John Bishop able to make it one nothing for Haverhill as he blazed past everybody. 5.43 the time of that goal. And that's just an instance of a real good shooter beating the goaltender. Lounsbury got down just a half second too late. And that tends to happen when a player comes in with speed like that. It's hard for the goaltender to match it. And Bishop with a great touch to the finish. Hillies with a one nothing lead to work with. It's been an interesting year for Haverhill coming into this game with just 31 goals scored, 31 against. They've now got a plus one differential. Nice job by Brady Roach to defend on that. Lounsbury able to make the save and hold on to that puck. Had to deal with some traffic there going to the crease. But with that goal from John Bishop, the Hillies do bump their differential up to plus one. 32 goals for, 31 against. The Highlanders have seen their scoring skyrocket. They score over four goals per game. Largely thanks to this line as Chris Cassesso takes it in deep and now centers and there's an answer for the Highlanders right on cue. Matt DeAngelis on the centering feed from Chris Cassesso. And he's got his 11th goal of the year. It is quickly tied up for the Highlanders who have leaned on this line all year long for offense. That is Matthew DeAngelis' 11th goal of the season. He leads the team in that category and he's set up by Chris Cassesso who's got 18 points now on the season. That's 12 assists for the sophomore winger as the Hillies now will look to counter and a ripper right over Lounsbury's head. Jax Mulligan let that one go and he didn't miss the crossbar by a ton. As Foley's able to skate it to open ice and clear. That was nearly 2-1 though. Mulligan did not miss the target by much. Goals 52 seconds apart. Matt DeAngelis countering from Chris Cassesso as right out in front. A uh, loose puck is covered up by Lounsbury and he gets the whistle with 4.07 to go in the first. We are tied up at one apiece. Somerville taking on non-conference opponent Haverhill. The DeAngelis goal, as I mentioned, coming under a minute in response to the game's opening goal from John Bishop. DeAngelis had two goals here last time at home against Cambridge. Finding the back of the net yet again. That goal gives him 20 points as well. Cassesso is nearing that mark with now 18. As it's off Lounsbury's pads, one-handed towards the net by Barron. As a shot is blocked by Doe and he can flip it all the way back down into Haverhill territory. The Hillies have been able to string together a few consistent shifts in the attacking zone. They have had the Highlanders pinned at times as Marujo able to block the shot from Barron. He'll sweep it back across the slot. Caswell pinching to hold it in. As into the corner goes Rosenthal. Challenge there by Gaskin. Lost in Morgan skates. He's able to intercept the blind pass from Barron and get the puck out through neutral ice. 
Sailed up to an open wing. Ardolino touches it back. Sent across, Dylan Marujo gives it up. Nearly coughed up though by Caswell who got it away in a hurry. Here is Caswell again, trying to shake away from Morgan. He'll send it around, trying to find his partner. Ardolino with a good check there on Nolan Sheehan. And Ardolino on good puck recovery, finding Roach. It's ahead and helped along by Alex Morgan. The Highlanders can change. As we tick towards the two minute mark here of the first period. One to one with Haverhill opening the scoring and Somerville responding just 52 seconds later on Matt DeAngelis' 11th goal of the season. There is that line out there, DeAngelis with his brother Chris and Chris Cassesso along the left wing side. Cassesso lost his stick. As the Hillies get it out to neutralize. Turning here is the captain, John Bishop. He opened the scoring. Seamus Foley looks over his shoulder. Chris DeAngelis belted down there on a check from Noah Wormstead, one of many seniors on this Haverhill team. Out there on defense with Will James. As it's plopped back in deep with less than a minute and a half to go in the opening period from Somerville. Wing to wing pass is touched ahead by Chris DeAngelis as that line changes out. Played up the boards. Tim Jones fresh on, keeps it alive. Candelino stops up into the corner. On the backhand, he'll find Jones. Jones is checked by Costa. Puck comes free and it's chipped ahead and worked towards the middle by Mulligan. Into the final 50 seconds here as Pruitt tries to help it along. Hilly's looking for a clear. Good pressure there and a good hit from Baropin as a bouncing puck fielded into the circle and played ahead. Marujo steps into Mulligan and sends him down to the ice. There have been some good checking as Mulligan returns the favor on Baropin. Icing is called here on Somerville. So an attacking zone faceoff for the Hillies with 23 seconds to go. In a pretty spirited first period, we're tied one apiece. And the teams have certainly not been hesitant to throw the body around. It's been pretty physical in this opening period. But the Highlanders not out of the woods just yet. 23 seconds still to go in the period. Off the draw, it's right in on goal, and Lounsbury can cover up on the bid from Ackerman. That killed only three seconds. Averill will opt for a line change here. That was a pretty good play by Darren Ackerman, right off the draw, but it wasn't a particularly strong shot. This time the faceoff is won by Matt DeAngelis. Sent up the boards. Hustling to keep that in and doing so with Sheehan as Lounsbury is saved. It's pushed back into the crease and he's able to cover up as Jake Costa was looking to knock that rebound through. And Lounsbury was able to track it back towards the middle and get a glove on it. Highlanders won the draw but failed to clear. And there's still nine seconds to go in the period. DeAngelis able to win another draw. Bishop right on goal and Lounsbury another save as he covers up again. This time five seconds to go in the period. It's about the third or fourth whistle here in the final 23 seconds. And another attacking zone draw for the Hillies who still have time with five to go. Another win this time by Gaskin. And the Highlanders will kill off the rest of the clock as a tad bit of a late check from Costa. The Highlanders able to pin the puck along and we get to the end of the first period. Tied up at one here between the Hillies and the Highlanders who will head to the dressing room. Tied thanks to Matt DeAngelis, his team leading 11th goal of the season. Set up by Chris Cassesso just 52 seconds after John Bishop opened the scoring for the Hillies. We'll step aside here on Somerville Ed TV and return for the second period coming up next.
We're back here inside the Veterans Memorial Arena from Somerville, Massachusetts. Highlanders taking on the Hillies here in a non-conference matchup. One to one after one. Haverhill opened up the scoring with 5.43 left in the first. An unassisted goal for the senior forward, John Bishop, who took away a loose puck after Dylan Marujo couldn't hold it in at the near point and then just sprinted down the left wing side going five hole on Peter Lounsbury. But the Highlanders had a quick counter answering just 52 seconds later on a goal from Matt DeAngelis. His team leading 11 as we're back underway here for the second period. Tyler Arrego happy to have this game brought to you taped on Somerville Ed TV. Highlanders trying to make it five games in a row as Gaskin right on net. Good stop by Cal Pruitt. Kicked the rebound all the way back out to center. As Marujo finished to check on Bishop. Tries to lead Alex Morgan ahead. Pass was behind him. And Pruitt can trap the puck underneath his glove. Good shot from the near boards by Richie Gaskin, who is not trailing Matt DeAngelis by much in the team's leading goal scoring category. Coming into this game, they were tied with 10 apiece. And only two double digit goal scoring players for the Highlanders. Dylan Marujo and Chris Casesso each tied with six goals apiece. They're open, trying to steal it away from Mulligan. Stepping in was Gautier. He lost the puck on a good stick check, and it's offside here on Somerville. Opening minute of the second period. Sesso did pick up the assist on DeAngelis' goal. It was a great pass from out of the corner. DeAngelis was able to beat through it to the far side. That gave Casesso 12 assists on the season. He is nearing the 20 point mark. As a stick goes flying, left the hands of Darren Ackerman, who's gonna have to go back to the bench. He'll get a stick from a teammate and try and play with that. Stick doesn't appear to be broken. As a shot blocked, sent back into the middle. Good play by Brokeman to Muscle it out. Now Pasquale Candelino getting past the check. Into the corner. Ackerman trying to slow him down with his shoulder. Candelino up the boards. Jones sending it around the glass. Back to the near side. Chris DeAngelis will pedal it back in deep. Brother Matt fresh on. Makes a move into the circle. Trying to get it to Casesso. He'll spin and drop for Chafee. That shot goes wide. Off the back side of the net. Sesso picks it up, gets it back to the point. Foley shoots, blockered out by Pruitt. Rebound right up and held in by Foley. Sesso has to absorb a hit, got tripped in the corner. As it's cleared all the way down by the Hillies, it's on to Lounsbury, so no icing. And Haverhill will try and change out. As it's a quick up, touch to head. DeAngelis to DeAngelis, this is Matthew holding and trying to find Casesso, but he was defended well by Caswell. This line for the Highlanders, trying to generate some more offense. Chris Casesso, though, stapled into the boards, trying to get himself free as Roach had his shot blocked. Good play by Terilli. And now it's carried in deep. Terilli stopping along the wall. Blocker save made by Lounsbury. Spun back down the boards by Barron. Now into the circle, a backhander misses the net. The Highlanders can get to it. Casesso saw a hit coming at the red line. Trying to line him up was Terilli. Highlanders need a change. Marujo got his own rebound back after the shot was blocked. He takes it all the way in deep and is finally dispossessed. As the hill is clear. Morgan back in deep. Skips over Pruitt's stick. Ardolino in the far corner. Battles there against Rosenthal. Who couldn't handle the pass. Gautier shoots, getting a stick to that was Pruitt. As it's over to the boards. Doe fanned on the shot. Gaskin can't push it towards the front. But Artolino is there to pressure Caswell. Near boards. Unable to control is Barron. Morgan can't step into the circle. Now the Hillies can clear. 
It's off of Barron's skate, and that'll be icing as he was behind the red line. Good pressure there, though, from the Highlanders, the Chris Cassesso line in particular. And then the follow-up shift from the top line, Gaskin, Ardolino, and Morgan. Great work to support each other there. Cecil line is back out. Matt DeAngelis to take the draw. Unable to win it against Jake Costa. But he finds it in below the goal line. Trying to go back to Marujo. Turning around him is Bishop with that great speed. He'll fire and Lounsbury able to kick that aside. What speed though from John Bishop who was able to score in similar fashion. Catching the Highlander defense flat footed. Mulligan all the way into the corner. Roach on the steal and Marujo plays it up the boards. Chris Cassesso with a jolting hit on Will James who pinched in and held the puck. Now it's sent up the near side and worked around Prescott Mulligan. Indeed, Chris Cassesso takes the hit. Overstated the puck. Moved away from Chris DeAngelis. Shouldered down by Matthew. Now he'll try and get underneath his check. Hounded there by Baker. And the arms staying down as Chris DeAngelis taking a check. As the Hillies get it clear. Neither team has gotten a power play yet in this game as Jones is closed on by Jake Costa. Puck drifts out in front, away from Brokeman. Costa can fling it across neutral ice. Over five minutes into this second period, pretty continuous action. No icing here, Brokeman and Rosas over along the far corner. Moved up the near side as Brokeman finishes another check. Good pinch by Chafee. Taken by Costa, up the boards. Held in by Brokeman, who drills it around the glass. This is fired all the way down, a bouncer that misses the net. And therefore icing on the Hillies. It'll be another attacking zone draw for the Highlanders. Under nine and a half to play here in the second, no change in score. Gaskin on the draw, with Morgan right behind him. Unable to win it though against Ackerman. Gaskin, hard into the boards with Ackerman. Gaskin is shaken up as this one will float into the glove of Pruitt and Gaskin is Thankfully near the bench, but he is in some pain. Nine eleven to go. Hopefully Gaskin is okay, but he was down and unable to get up as he crawled back to the bench. Neither team has taken a penalty yet in this game. We've played five on five the whole way. Coach Capasso though certainly thought that was warranted of a call as Doe with a good shot block on Mulligan who wheels it into the middle. Nice play by Ardolino. He's able to clear the zone. Stepping through is Jones. Nice move there, Jones. Another move on the backhand. He couldn't play it towards the net. But he left Ackerman in the dust. As Morgan gets his stick to that. Chopping at it, Ardolino. Jones filling in on this line. As Ardolino forcing the issue in deep and shaken up on the play is Sheehan. He is down in a heap as they will blow the play dead. He is shaken up at the side of the net and the trainer will come out to assist him. Eight and a half to go, and the trainer for Somerville out to attend Nolan Sheehan, who went down at the side of his own net. He will gather himself, and under his own power, which is always a good thing to see, 
will skate back to his bench. Not sure if he caught a stick or the puck in a vulnerable area, but it certainly caused him some pain. And always good to see the player make it back to the bench on his own. As we'll have the faceoff inside the Haverhill end. It'll be to the right of Cal Pruitt. Chris Cassesso line is out with the DeAngelis brothers, Chafee and Foley on defense. 8.31 left to go in the second period. Off the draw, it pops off Cassesso's blade. Matt DeAngelis out in front. And he lost the handle on the backhand. Chafee shooting. That goes wide to the glove side. Foley right along the line, unable to keep it in. Just by an inch. And it's offside as it just bobbled back over the blue line and Islanders will have to settle for a face-off back in neutral ice. Tough break for the sophomore defenseman, Seamus Foley. He's got a pretty good shot from back there along the blue line. Matt DeAngelis, who just had a near miss, gets a steal, looks to center. Oh, he had Cassesso wide open as Chafee lets it go. And that was blocked out high off the legs of Jaden Barron. Oh, Chris Cassesso just couldn't get the blade onto that puck. As that time, Matthew DeAngelis was trying to set him up. Chafee on for Foley, getting some help from DeAngelis. Cassesso was stood into, as this shot from afar is no trouble for Lounsbury. Off the stick of Jaden Barron. Pretty good chances in this period for the Highlanders. Just on that last sequence, Matt DeAngelis unable to connect on the cross crease pass. Highlanders trying to get the puck cleared as it's tapped to the line. That shot all the way through and Lounsbury the save. He's able to jab it into the corner. Another shot from the wall, that's blocked. Unable to get that through, Costa. As Roach hooks it up the wall, it's all the way back, but Mulligan can't keep it. Just the reset at neutral ice. Peter Lounsbury has been real sharp here today. Giving up that lone goal on the streaking John Bishop breakaway. Making a couple of nice stops there as the Hillies have it at center ice. Love down by Gaskin. He'll drive it in. Richie Gaskin unable to take it to the net. Good stick by Prescott Mulligan. Gaskin in back of the goal trying to center. Get some help, Preston Artolino. Back for Gaskin, all the way back. Held in by Marujo. All the way to Morgan, near corner. In tight quarters, Artolino checked by Prescott Mulligan. Now Costa trying to slow him down. Artolino on the backhand to Marujo, all the way through and a blocker saved by Pruitt. Morgan is checked. Gaskin is there trying to support as it's pumped in deep. Ardolino trying to go through Wormstead as it's cleared. Finishing a check was Alex Morgan. Roach able to quickly clear it. Mulligan right back in as Morgan finished a check. It has been physical as Roach turns it over. Costa just played it through the blue and wide. Held in by Prescott Mulligan. He'll get it back from Jacks along the line, nearly stolen by Morgan. It's worked free to Gaskin. It'll pop back into Highlander territory off the stick of Caswell. Hammered up the wing off of Gaskin. Highlander, or rather the Hillies offside here as DeBurro tags up. Fast paced moving second period, under five and a half to go. No change in the score. And Delino played it in deep, forces a steal, looks to center, but the pass was behind Jones as it's back to the red line. Islanders tag up. And Delino trying to force the issue again. Phillies will carry it out to the red line. Nifty self pass, or nearly a nifty self pass from James, but it ends up into the Haverhill bench. And we get a rare whistle here in the second period. 4.57 left to go. 
in a one-to-one game between the Hillies and the Highlanders. Goals coming back in the first period, 52 seconds apart from Bishop. And then the answer from Matt DeAngelis. It's been a tightly played game here. Tim Jones from the red line, plays it in past the stick of Cal Pruitt. The senior netminder, Pasquale Candelino, trying a four check. Up to the line, go. Couldn't keep a bouncer in as it's off of Barron. Way back in by the Highlanders, they'll get a change. Averill wants a quick out. Off the skates of DeAngelis. Tessesso can't corral it at the Somerville logo. Buck sent in by Terilli. Doe put into by Rosenthal on the four check. Shane Doe has it here. The eighth grader has been so composed back there on defense. As he sends it around, Gautier up the boards. Chris DeAngelis trying to wedge it forward. James. Just gets it out past his own blue line. It's tossed into space by Barron, but rejected by Doe at the line. Doe up for DeAngelis. Good play by Prescott Mulligan. On the steal and on the entry, he'll send it down the wall. Doe trying to slow down Bishop. Trying to get it back to Mulligan and a turnover. Cassesso is unable to Keep control as he sent it too far forward. And all the way down for an icing, it'll come back to Lounsbury for a Hillies attacking zone faceoff. 3.29 to go in the second period. Take a brief look there at the Highlander bench. As we get ready for the faceoff to the left of Peter Lounsbury. Goaltenders have been solid here in this game. Caswell moves it across the line. That's shot though, blocked off the stick of Gaskin. Ardolino looking for help, goes backwards and finds Marujo. To his partner, Brady Roach. That though off of Baker, out high. It's cleared away by Gaskin. A pop-up into the Hillies bench. And we'll get a face off in neutral ice. The Highlanders were able to work that puck out, but the Hillies Certainly aren't making it easy with the way that they're forechecking. That was Jack Baker that time forcing a turnover. This time from the neutral zone, Ardolino unable to work that in as Gaskin could not stop up at the line. Off the draw, puck nearly turned over to Ardolino. That was a dangerous play by Caswell, but it's up the wing. Trying to get around is Baker. He'll stop up and now turn to the forehand. Play it in deep, Marujo unable to slow down Costa. That out in front off Marujo's skate. Carried away by Morgan and we're gonna get our first penalty. Touched up by the Hillies, and Jake Costa is gonna go for a hook as he got the stick in between the arms of Alexander Morgan, and with 2.27 to go. The game's first power play comes late here in the second period, and the Highlanders have a chance to take the lead for the first time this afternoon. Played a scoreless second period. With 2.27 to go, the Highlanders will have the game's first power play. Winning the draw and clearing. The Hillies, a face-off win from Brendan Rosenthal, and it was clubbed all the way down the ice by Prescott Mulligan. Zach Hurl, the other penalty-killing forward for the Hillies. Out there on defense, along with Mulligan, is Will James. Morgan, pressured by Rosenthal, forced to drop it back. Foley up the wing, Matt DeAngelis able to hit Cassesso in stride. Now they're in over the line. Cassesso takes it into the corner. 40 seconds gone, though, off the power play as it's shuffled back up. Alex Morgan. 
Walks the line, Marujo will recover. Play it in deep. Cleared away through Cassesso, all the way down from Mulligan. An uneventful opening minute for this Highlander power play. Marujo drops it back to Gaskin, just missing DeAngelis, who tries to tip it through James, and he does. Drops it off, Gaskin with a shot, and that's gonna be blocked up and out of play. The Highlanders remain with 49 seconds to work with of a power play. Richie Gaskin from a good spot on the ice. Just couldn't get it on to the net. Good block. That time by... That was the defenseman Prescott Mulligan. It's off the draw. Cleared on the second effort. Good work there by Pat McGowan. Just over half a minute to go on the Somerville power play as we hit the final minute of the second period. Richie Gaskin picking up some steam, trying to cut towards the net. He got cut off, however, on a good play by Cashwell. 50 seconds to go in the period. Cassesso turns to the forehand. Marujo, short passing, trying to trade places with Cassesso. Morgan shoots. Bad save made, rebound, put back on goal by Gaskin. And Pruitt able to track it over to his left and make the save. 36 seconds to go in the period and nine to go on the hooking penalty to Jake Costa. Took a while for the Highlanders to get that power play set up. But he get a couple looks there though towards the back end of it. Single digits remaining, nine seconds till we're back to five on five. Winning the faceoff is Jones. A shot off Candelino. Roach able to flip it into space. And a penalty now coming here on Brokeman. Right as Costa gets out of the box, here could be a chance for Bishop. And Lounsbury was able to make the save. A big save by Peter Lounsbury. But the Highlanders will be shorthanded. With just over 20 seconds to go in the period, Brokeman tripping his man up. Took us nearly 30 full minutes to finally see penalties called, but too late here in the second. One on each side, and this time the Highlanders will be penalized. Just 21 seconds to go in the period. Big stop though by Peter Lounsbury. John Bishop has had some dangerous chances down the wing for the Hillies who can certainly get one here on the power play. That one goes off the side of the post on the shot from Barron, who plays it down the boards. It's then lifted up and out of play. One, one game here, last 10 seconds of the second period. Barring something here, Haver will have carryover power play time to start the third. They look to center out of the corner. Good work by Marujo to keep it pinned along. And that will do it for the last 10 seconds of the second period. Well done by the Highlander captain to melt down the last remaining bits of this second period. The Hillies, though, will have a minute and 40 seconds of power play time to work with when we start the third period. That will come up in just a moment on Somerville Ed TV. Ready to get the third period started in just a few moments here on Somerville Ed TV. Happy to be taping this game for you. Tyler Rego from inside the Veterans Memorial Arena where the Highlanders and Hillies are tied up at one apiece. After two periods and 30 minutes of action, Somerville will start the third period out shorthanded for a minute and 40 seconds. Matinus Brokeman in the box for a tripping call. It was booked in the final 21 seconds of the second period. We didn't get our first penalty call until about the 227 mark of the second. The Hillies were successful on the kill and then just a few moments later, we're able to hop right onto the power play and that's how they'll start this third period. One referee working this game, wanna give a couple stick taps to him. That's never easy. It's a hard enough job with when there are two guys out there, but 
he has been our lone referee, and so you have to watch the lines and the infractions. Third period is underway, and the Hillies will try and get their power play set up as Jack Baker driven into the Somerville bench by Dylan Marujo. Islanders can't get it clear as that shot is wide from DeBurro. Held in on the pinch from Will Janes, who gets dropped in the corner. To the short side, Lounsbury couldn't cover it. As it's passed back to the top, Barron shoots all the way through. Lounsbury the save. Baker back to the top. Barron again. That's wide of the net, raised off the skirt of the goal. Still a minute left on this hilly power play as it's off Marujo in front. Unable to clear as it's passed over to the near side boards. Baker tipping it in deep as Marujo able to win the battle against Ackerman. And he sends it all the way back down where Pruitt will set it up behind his own net with just over 40 seconds to go in the Haverhill power play. This is their first power play of the game as Doe trying to keep his man to the outside. It's pushed on net and Lounsbury able to cover up down low as driving the goal was Darren Ackerman, the senior. Good job by Shane Doe, who is only an eighth grader. And he has certainly shown his dependability on defense this season. Now they're killing this penalty with Logan Gauthier. As the referee will adjust the net behind Lounsbury. He was able to make the save down low and cover up. 34 seconds on the power play. Face off one by Costa. Pass down the boards by Rosenthal. A snapper there misses and caroms back down off the glass. Rolling all the way deep inside Hilly's territory. Still time though for one last power play zone entry. Played down the boards by Costa. Gauthier there first. Bishop there to check him. Final five seconds of the power play. And the Highlanders able to get it clear all the way back down ice. The penalty is over. Both teams are one for one on the kill. So we're back to five on five. Just over 13 minutes to go in the game. Icing called here on the Hillies. Face off to the right of Pruitt. Won nicely by Jaden Barron. Up to the line, Foley nearly took Barron's head off as that shot went wide to Pruitt's glove hand side. Janes challenged by Ardolino. Puck was up into the air. Morgan couldn't play it. As it's bunted towards the middle, Barron lost the handle. Nice touch pass though. He's in and he'll score. Jaden Barron going five hole on Lounsbury on a beautiful setup from Zach Hurl, who was able to just touch a backhand pass through. And Jaden Barron streaking in, able to go five hole. And with 12.45 to go in the third, the Hillies are back on top. It is two to one. Still 12.45 though to go in the third. And Jade and Barron, who was sent right down the middle on an excellent touch pass from Zach Hurl. Able to snap it right between the legs of Lounsbury. Both goals for the Hillies scored on breakaway chances. Played across the line, Haynes a shot, it's blocked. Cleared though, but right to Costa who wheeled it wide. Rimmed around the glass, held in by Janes. Marujo turns it back towards Janes who tried to pinch. It'll just clear the zone. Knocked down by Chris Cassesso. He gets tossed backwards by Caswell. The stick of Bishop, he'll recover and play it on across. Good stick from Christy Angelis, but he couldn't cleanly intercept it. Bishop, 
checked by Marujo, who lost his stick, and Bishop's gonna get a penalty. He is gonna get a penalty for trying to slap the stick away from Dylan Marujo. The referee caught him, and it's an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty to John Bishop. And the Highlanders will get their second power play chance here with 11.42 to go in the third. Bishop is frustrated as Marujo will be out there on the point along with Morgan, Cassesso with Gaskin, and Matt DeAngelis who couldn't win the draw. Morgan couldn't keep it. Trying to streak ahead is Hurl, and a big save by Lounsbury, shorthanded. And Marujo a little slow to get up. He went hard into the boards. Big save though for Peter Lounsbury. As Zach Hurl was trying to make it 3-1 on a shorthanded goal. That would have been killer just eight seconds into this power play. Lounsbury with a timely stop though. He was beaten on two breakaways, but a big stop there to keep it a one goal score as Morgan will try and start up on the power play. Getting to the red line and now crossing over and carrying it deep to the goal line. Morgan back to Rich Gaskins. Now it is Morgan to the middle and a good block there off the stick of Rosenthal high into the mesh. Angelus winning the draw. Gaskin shoulder to shoulder with Noah Wormstead. Good keep there by Morgan. DeAngelis, nice pass. Gaskin right on. And a nice save in close by Pruitt off the blocker. Seamus Foley trying to hold it in. Gets help from Matt DeAngelis. Good keep there by the Highlanders as it snapped across to Foley. Now Morgan straight away hoping for a tip and it's wide as Pruitt tries to dive on the puck. Can't cover, and it's cleared back down off the glass. Lounsbury will set it aside for Foley with about 50 seconds to go on this Somerville power play. Great setup from Matt DeAngelis and Richie Gaskin stoned in close by Cal Pruitt, his best save off the blocker. Chris Cassesso, far boards, bottom of the circle. It's Jones now in deep. Good play there, getting the clear for the Hillies. As Marujo turned it over to Mulligan. Lounsbury will set it aside, 20 seconds. As it's off Cassesso's skate. Jones back to Marujo. Chance for one last rush as Marujo's pass. Off Candelino. Trying to squeak through is Preston Ardolino. He's able to kick it in deep. Jones getting help from Ardolino. We're back to even strength. Bishop is out of the box. It's chipped off the glass, held in by Marujo. Once again, gloved down. And now here's a chance for Jax Mulligan. Mulligan shoots and he scores going glove side. It's another breakaway and another goal for the Hillies as Mulligan Able to go over the glove of Lounsbury, and with 9.23 to go, the Hillies can get some separation at last. It's three to one, and three breakaway goals for Haverhill. So now the Highlanders trailing by two. Another defensive lapse, another goal after an unsuccessful power play. Highlanders are 0 for 2. Now in need of a goal to try and get back into this game. Candelino had it swatted away by Dade. Now Logan Gauthier trying to skate it ahead. Ropeman, shouldered there by Ackerman. Billy's won a counter, but it's offside. Mulligan could not drag the skate. So 
the Hillies striking twice here in the third period as it's poked through Foley by Rosenthal. Good play by Chafee, but the puck held in. Chafee contesting. As Chris DeAngelis gets help from Chafee in clearing. Moved back in down the boards by Wormstead. Chafee with the puck. Had it taken away by Barron, who broke the tie here in the third with 12.45 to go. Good hip check there from Tirilli on Chris DeAngelis. As it's up the boards, Matt DeAngelis turns to the forehand and plays it in deep off the boards. Chris Cassesso in deep with Chris DeAngelis trying to help. Puck banked up the wing and out. Brendan Rosenthal across the line trying to get around Foley who keeps him to the outside. Chafee had his pass up the boards blocked. Puck pinned along there still by Chafee. DeAngelis comes in to help and now he'll break. Matt DeAngelis across the line just underneath Cassesso's blade. He'll try and pick it up along the far boards but Haverhill back defensively trying to clear it. Good play by Artelino, but he lost it going towards the middle. Please get it ahead. Costa tips it into Marujo's corner. Dylan Marujo lost the handle to Bishop. Sent up the boards. Trouble for Janes, but Morgan could not advance through. Gaskin a steal. He's got help with him. It's Artelino moving in and scoring. Preston Artelino. Upstairs, he's got goals in three straight. And the Highlanders get right back into it with 6.44 to go. Preston Artelino with his ninth of the year. And it's back to a one goal game. Just under seven minutes to go. What a shot there from the eighth grader. Just ripped it over the Waving glove hand of Cal Pruitt. Set up by Richie Gaskin who forced a turnover just outside the Haverhill line and it's back to a one goal score as a shot here is stopped and covered up by Lounsbury with Bishop sniffing for a rebound. Gaskin wins the draw as Roach ropes it all the way back out to neutral ice. Scott Mulligan is pressured by Ardolino. Goals in three straight games. As he has it here across the line, Morgan turns it all the way in deep. Mulligan, here's Gaskin who comes in and shoves him down. Ardolino trying to help as he's checked again. This time dispossessed. As Bishop trying to find a man in the middle, but Baker was covered. Roach trying to work it up the boards. Baker challenged by Gaskin. It's Bishop looking to center off of Marujo. Roundsbury trying to cover along the short side. He couldn't. As it's back in deep, Gaskin tossed down to the ice as Marujo can get the clear. Phillies have to tag up. Marujo will skate as far as he can go. Dylan Marujo across the line trying to split the defense. Finally lost it as he shoulders his man down to the ice. This puck tossed all the way down. Lounsbury lays it in below the goal line. Gautier trying to skate away from Costa. Gets it up to the line but not out. A good play by DeBorrow. Now a feed and a tip and a save by Lounsbury somehow as it's back up to the point. Jones trying to get the clear. What a stop by Peter Lounsbury. Got the blocker on it. And maybe a bit of the stick as well on a near tip play by Costa. Under five minutes to go. Trying to drive to the net, another chance here. And that's Ackerman going up and out of play. Four fifty-two to go in the third. Highlanders back into the game on Preston Artelino's ninth goal of the season. Richie Gaskin with the assist. 
That goal came just under seven minutes to go here in the third period. Matt DeAngelis trying to go ahead. Dangerous play as he turned it over to DeBurrow. Worked into the slot. Cassesso is there off Chris DeAngelis. Buck taken by Chafee. Played ahead. Cassesso absorbs a big hit there from Ackerman. Cassesso got checked right into the dasher. Trying to get over the boards. He got shaken up in a very tough spot to be hidden. Right into the dasher, or the stanchion, I should say, at the end of the Highlander bench. Highlanders certainly hope they can get him back here with now under four minutes to go in the game. He is a key cog in this team's offense as Mulligan shows and goes on Foley, who drills him in the corner. Certainly keep our eye on Chris Cassesso. As Ardolino forces a turnover and draws a penalty. James is gonna go for interference. And the Highlanders are gonna get their third power play of the game with 3.32 to go. James stepping in the way of Ardolino who did not have the puck. And the Highlanders, who are 0 for 2 on the power play, really need something here with 3.36 to go in the game. And Cassesso is back out on the ice. Good to see. Along with Gaskin, who will take the face off, and Matt DeAngelis. Morgan and Marujo at the point. This is Morgan feeding it down the boards. DeAngelis to the goal line, looking to center. Rujo, good keep as he plays it back across. This is Gaskin. Back to Morgan, walking the line. Morgan to Marujo, winding up and missing the net. It'll carry him all the way back down into the Highlander zone. They are on the power play, trying to erase a 3-1 deficit. Matt DeAngelis drops it off. Gaskin out high, right on, and Pruitt takes that into the chest. Gaskin had some room. Opted to shoot from afar. Routine save for Cal Pruitt. 125 still to go on this power play. Highlanders need something here. Work back to Morgan. Finding Gaskin off the boards and a save made by Pruitt again. He's able to find it. Another draw coming up to his left. After a scoreless second period, three goals here in the third. DeAngelis shaking away from Wormstead. Now Cassesso, stick handles. Marujo, wrist shot punched away by Pruitt. Marujo keeping it in, fighting for it, but it's finally cleared out of the zone. Under a minute to go on this power play. Gaskin, watched there by Pat McGowan. Marujo. To an open wing, Matt DeAngelis across the line. Working around Wormstead. In front, Pruitt makes a big stop there on Chris Cassesso. Got his right pad to it as Morgan holds it. Walking the blue line, still holding. Now it is Gaskin, he'll take the shot. Kicked away by Pruitt. Gaskin with 25 to go. Now Morgan, wrist shot, saved by Pruitt. And it's off the stick, into his glove. Couple saves on this penalty kill for Cal Pruitt. None better than the sprawled out pad save he just made on Chris Cassesso. Hard puck to track too as it was deflected and bounced on through his crease but he fanned out the legs and made a big pad save as the Highlanders will call timeout here with 21 seconds to go on their power play and a minute 56 seconds left in the game. They trail the Hillies by one as we'll take a quick timeout too. 
on Somerville Ed TV. Joe, do you have a tissue? Any chance? Should have picked some up when I was at Walgreens. Ah, got like such a stuffy nose. Inside the Veterans Memorial Arena, 156 to go in the third period. The Highlanders trying to press something on through here on this power play. They're 0 for 2, but have gotten some real good looks on this third opportunity. Cal Pruitt coming up with a few stops, including a big one on Chris Casesso, who was in close. Out of the timeout, Peter Lounsbury will go to the bench. So it's six on four for the Highlanders with their net empty, 21 seconds to go. Until McGowan exits the box, or rather, Haynes exits the box. Six on four. Escaping here, DeAngelis centering feed. Sesso picks it up out of the corner, holds. And goes to the goal line for Gaskin. Power play is expiring. It'll be six on five as Gaskin now can shoot. And he put it over top of the net. May have caught a piece of the post. Back to even strength. Puck cleared all the way down. It's icing. As we're back to five aside, with the net empty for the Highlanders, it'll be six on five. 3-2 game. He trailed 3-1. Preston Ardolino's ninth goal of the season. Threw them back to within one as Gaskin can't win the draw against Costa. It's kept by Marujo and slipped through the legs of Gaskin. He wasn't expecting it. As DeAngelis in deep. Gaskin protecting in the corner as Mulligan checks him. Along the boards, Matt DeAngelis up to the line. Morgan, good keep off his skates as it's finally cleared all the way out. It will have enough for icing as Costa was behind the red line. 62 seconds to go here in regulation and we'll see if the Hillies opt to use their timeout here. Doesn't appear to be the case for head coach Joe Roberts. Defensive zone draw to the left of Cal Pruitt. 102 to go in the game. Off the draw, a bit of a stalemate. Work back to Ardolino, and now Morgan. Quick pass, Ardolino turns as we're into the final minute. He'll shuffle it down the boards. Wormstead cutting Gaskin off as Morgan is unable to clear. Empty net for Bishop, and he'll stick it. John Bishop open the scoring, and he'll likely end it with 42 seconds to go in the game. He sinks the empty netter and the Hillies are back up by two. Bishop with his second of the game and it was just about dead center. So a comeback effort will fall just short for the Highlanders barring a miracle here in 42 seconds. They would need two goals now. Gautier to the line and it's offside as Ackerman couldn't settle down a bouncing puck. And barring that miraculous comeback, the Highlanders will see their season best winning streak come to an end at four straight games. A much better scenario this time around for Coach Roberts and the Hillies, whose last game against Cambridge was halted after two periods of play, a 1-1 score. That was due to ice maintenance issues. They played a full three periods here and are gonna walk away victorious as Brokeman moving to goal, he got tripped as Pruitt poked it away. Lounsbury got to the bench with 10 seconds left. There is 
going to be a penalty call on the Highlanders, but Pruitt is in some pain here. He went for a poke check and got some of the puck, but I did not see the follow through contact that has the Haverhill goaltender just now getting to his knees. Brokeman though was moving in and got hauled from behind. Pruitt able to shake things off here. Dylan Soucy, a fellow senior, is the backup. He will not have to come in for the final 10 seconds of the game. Dispels the myth that goalies aren't tough either. A fellow goaltender myself, I always objected to that. We may not be out there throwing hits or taking hits, but we can certainly hang in there with the physicality. And they're calling a penalty shot here for the junior, Matinus Brokeman, with 10 seconds left. Can he make it a one goal game here? On the penalty shot, and Pruitt turns him away very calmly off the right leg pad. So we'll play five on five for the final 10 seconds. Brokeman, chance for his first goal of the season, but turned away on the penalty shot. Pruitt really held it down as this puck rolling through the top of his crease. It's taken by the Hillies, and that will do it as time runs out. It's a 4-2 win for the Haverhill Hillies here on the road, their eighth win of the year. That'll improve them to 8-3-1. The Highlanders see their season-best four-game winning streak come to an end. They have their record fall to 8-7 now on the season. The Highlanders will be back at it on February the 8th here at the Veterans Memorial Arena. They take on Latin Academy. Puck drop is slated for 5-30. We will have that for you on Somerville Ed TV. Just two more games remaining on the regular season, both of them here at home on February 8th and February 11th. But your final score here today, it's the Haverhill Hillies four, your Somerville Highlanders two. For Tyler Arego, this has been a Somerville Ed TV production. Have a good evening, everybody. <laughs>